It is time to get down to business and begin the UEFA Champions League group stage draw. Pedro and myself will now make way for the draw experts. So please, <laughs> he listens now after three years, right? Please welcome them as they join us onto the stage. The UEFA Champions League uh, Deputy Ge Se Ge General Secretary. I'm sorry, how could I get that one wrong? The, the King, Giorgio Marchetti, and Michael Heselsperg, the head of UEFA Club Competitions. Pleasure to have you both here. Giorgio, over to you. Thank you very much, Regimen, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the draw ceremony for the 2019-2020 UEFA Champions League group stage. I'd like to start uh, by congratulating the 32 teams who have qualified for the world's most prestigious club competition, and now dream of lifting this last year's trophy aloft on the 30th of May. The road to Istanbul starts today, and over the coming months, we will all be looking forward to some exciting action on the pitch as the best clubs from across Europe go head to head. However, before we get to the draw, let's take a quick look at the technical procedure. The 32 teams have been allocated to four pots in accordance with the following principles. Pot 1 will comprise the UEFA Champions League title holder, Liverpool FC, and the UEFA Europa League title holder, Chelsea FC, as well as the domestic champions of the six top-ranked associations in the access list. The remaining 24 teams have been divided into three pots, based on their position in the UEFA club coefficient ranking. Since the same number of UEFA Champions League matches are played on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, the groups are divided in two colours, red for groups A to D and blue for groups E to H. The red groups will play on one match night and the blue groups will play on the other. This will alternate from match day to match day. For TV coverage reasons, every two teams from one country are paired in order to be split into red and blue groups. Please also note that based on a decision taken by the UEFA Executive Committee, teams from Russia and Ukraine shall not be drawn in the same group. The Champions League and Europa League title holders, as well as the domestic champions of Pot 1, will be drawn first. Starting with Pot 1, a ball is drawn at random and open to display the name. The team drawn is placed in the first available group in alphabetical order from A to H, as indicated by the computer and in accordance with the established principles. For example, if the team drawn has all eight options from A to H available, it will be automatically allocated to group A. If the team drawn has four options available from E to H, for example, it will be automatically allocated to group E and so on. This procedure will be repeated until all the teams of pot one are allocated in the eight groups. For pot two, a ball will be drawn at random and open to display the name. The computer will then show which groups are available for this club in accordance with the established principles such as country protection and TV pairings. A draw is then made to determine which of these available groups the clubs are assigned to. It must be noted that the number of options available to a team depends not only on the team's own attributes, for example, winter venue, and those of the teams already drawn, but also on the attributes of the other teams still to be drawn. This is due to the computer calculations needed to anticipate all possible scenarios and to prevent any deadlock situation. Once the eight teams of pot two have been allocated, the same procedure will apply for pots three and four to complete all the groups. Once the draw procedure has been completed, a computer draw will determine the final position of all clubs within the eight groups, as the position in the group determines the match schedule. In this respect, the computer will ensure that stadium clashes and winter venues are taken into account. The match calendar will be released three hours after the draw ceremony. OK, so that's how the technical part of the draw works. Let's take a look at the teams in pot one. And this pot includes the defending champions, Liverpool, along with Chelsea, 
Barcelona, Manchester City, Juventus, Bayern Munich, Paris Saint-Germain, and Zenit. These teams combined for 19 titles, Giorgio. Over to you to, to kick us off yes. with the draw. Thank you very much, Pedro. Yes, 19 titles are waiting to be allocated into groups. Thanks God, as you've seen, we have computers today. It will be difficult without. Uh, we start, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the UEFA Champions League 1920 starts now with Wesley showing us the first team occupying the first group of the UEFA Champions League. They will be allocated uh, this first spot uh, straight in alphabetical order unless we have a case of pairing and uh, the team is moved to the second part. PSG. So Paris Saint-Germain, it is the first team drawn in this UEFA Champions League to Group A. So Paris Saint-Germain, French champions are in Group A. Paris Saint-Germain would have reached the semi-final in 1999. And the second team is... Uh, Bayern München. The German champions, FC Bayern München, go to Group B. So Group B for the five-time winners of uh, the UEFA Champions League. The team which has a record of 16 uh, successive home wins in the group stage uh, and the knockout phase of Champions League between 14 and 17. Manchester City. Manchester City. So now we move uh, to the champions of the English Premier League, uh, Manchester City Group C for Manchester City, which will uh, chase again this uh, fantastic silverware after their best result in 2016, where they reached semi-finals. Juventus. And uh, now another team topping one of the top leagues, uh, Juventus, Group D, for the Italian champions of uh, Juventus, which is uh, the team, the Italian team, uh, which has uh, had the most matches in the UEFA Champions Cup and Champions League, 271. Liverpool. Liverpool. So the title holders of Liverpool are now in Group E of this uh, Champions League, and they will bring there their six titles, European titles. So let's see now. Barcelona. And now it is <clears throat> the turn of uh, FC Barcelona. So. We have completed the round of uh, uh, the champions in this league. Group F for FC Barcelona. Again, another five-time winners in this competition. Zenit. And uh, football club Zenit, uh, St. Petersburg Group G for uh, football club uh, Zenit. Uh, which had the best results in uh, seasons uh, 12, uh, 14, and 16, uh, reaching the round of 16. And this time we will try to do better. Chelsea. And uh, finally, Chelsea FC, the winners of the UEFA Europa League 2019, are in Group H. And uh, with this, uh, we have completed the part of the top seeds. Fantastic, Giorgio. Thank you very much. Time now to get back to the draw. So let's take a look at the clubs in pot two. And this pot includes the likes of teams that are perennial contenders as well and have won a variety of titles like the record winners, Real Madrid, of course, four-time winners, Ajax, two-time winners, Benfica. So this is where it starts to get really interesting, Giorgio, as yeah. teams are drawn <laughs> together. Over to you. Yes, and this uh, makes up 20 titles. So if we had 19 in the first pot, we have 20 titles combined here in the second pot, uh, which uh, looks really impressive. And that's when the real excitement starts. Let's see who will play who. First team of the second pot. Tottenham. Tottenham Hotspur. The finalists of last year. We have uh, three groups uh, which are possible for Tottenham Hotspur. These are groups uh, A, B, and, uh, and D. So Tottenham Hotspur was the last club to make the Champions League final for the first time. And the last three clubs who made it were all clubs from London. Tottenham Hotspur, Chelsea, and Arsenal. 
You've been studying the record books again, Georgia. We started uh, up till five o'clock in the morning. the record book <laughs> and the geography as well. <laughs> and it's a group B. Group uh, B. So uh, Tottenham Hotspur will play together with Bayern München in Group B. And that already gives us uh, some uh, spice and excitement. Ajax. And again, uh, to look back to next season, uh, we need Ajax. Uh, Ajax can go into each of the seven groups, uh, A, C, D, E, F, G, H. So Ajax, I think we all need uh, to praise this uh, team, this club, what they've done in the last season. They were fantastic with their very young team going up to one inch from the final. A few seconds. A few seconds. Having started in the second qualifying round. Yeah. Just made it through this week. Yes. Second team. And it's a group H. Group H. Group H means that Ajax will face Chelsea FC in Group H. Now we're ready for the third team and the third amazing pairing of this Champions League. <laughs> this time... Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund. So Borussia Dortmund can be drawn into three groups, E, F, G. So these groups are possible for uh, Borussia Dortmund, uh, which uh, had an interesting record in 1819. So the first German team uh, uh, finishing group stage with five clean sheets. So German football is famous for its attacking phase, but Borussia were very good defensively as well. And Borussia goes to Group F. Group F uh, for Borussia Dortmund, uh, which means that uh, they will face the like of uh, FC Barcelona. Now, ready to see another team. So it's the fourth team to be drawn from this pot? Yes. Oh. Benfica. Benfica. So Benfica can go into five groups, A, C, D, E, and G. So no condition in this case. So Benfica, twice winners of the UEFA Champions League, uh, and also the, team, the second uh, team uh, with the most participations in this uh, European Cup, uh, 39, second only to Real Madrid. It's a Group G. Group G for uh, Benfica. They will play together with the football club Zenit. Uh, St. Petersburg in Group G. So we are ready for the fifth team of this uh, second pot. And this time... Real Madrid. It is uh, the all-time uh, record holder of Real Madrid, 13 times. Uh, winner of the UEFA Champions Cup and Champions League. So for Real Madrid, we will have three possibilities, Group A or wow. C or D. Going to get a big clash either way, I think. It will be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> group A. So the group of Real Madrid is Group A, together with Paris Saint-Germain. So Wesley, as a former Real Madrid player, I think you, you will be uh, looking forward to this clash. Definitely. Nice game. Shakhtar Donetsk. And now FC Shakhtar Donetsk, the champions of Ukraine. C, D or E are the possibilities for uh, this club, uh, which was quarter finalist in uh, 2011. So for Shakhtar Donetsk, now Peter will soon tell us which is the group. It's a group C. Group C. So group C for Shakhtar Donetsk together with Manchester City. 
So only two groups now are left to be completed. We're talking about DNA. And uh, the next uh, team is Napoli. Uh, Napoli. So Napoli has only one, only one group available, no other possibilities. The group is Group <coughs> E. And Napoli will uh, face Liverpool again. It's nothing new for them. It was, uh, if I'm not wrong, the same uh, situation in the group phase of last year. Yeah. So Napoli and uh, Liverpool falling together in the same group. Atletico de Madrid. And to finish, uh, we have uh, now Juventus and Atletico de Madrid, uh, who know each other very well, having played uh, in the knockout phase this year. Group D is now Juventus and Atletico de Madrid. It is time to get back to the draw. So let's take a look at the teams in pot three. Now, these include the three-time winners, Inter, as well as some uh, finalists from previous years, like Valencia, Club Bruges, and Bayer Leverkusen as well. Giorgio, over to you. Yes, and the going is getting tougher now with this third group, as the groups are taking real, real shape. 16 down, 16 to go. Yes, halfway through. Halfway. And here we go. First team drawn in pot number three. Internazionale. That's FC Internazionale Milano. We have uh, three possibilities for Internazionale. Groups F, G or H. Internazionale three-time winners of the Champions League and the last Italian club to win. With Wesley. With Wesley on the field. Jose Mourinho on the bench. Yes. Let's see the group. It's a group F. Group F uh, for Inter. That means quite a tough group, actually. FC Barcelona, Borussia Dortmund, and wow. uh, Inter. So we are ready to go with another one. Bayer Leverkusen. Bayer Leverkusen has uh, six uh, possibilities, A, C, D, E, G, and H. For Bayer Leverkusen, the finalists from 2002, where they were at the bad luck of bumping into uh, certain Zinedine Zidane, who volleyed the ball straight into the net to break the dreams of this team. But they can try again this season, of course. In Hampton, right? Hampton Park, yes. Group D. Group D. So, Group D means that Bayer Leverkusen will be competing against Juventus and uh, Atletico de Madrid. So, Wesley, you can tell us now what's the next team and uh, where it will go. It will be better to tell us. Valencia. So Valencia, Club de Football. Group, uh, groups E, G, and H are available for uh, uh, Valencia, where they finalists twice, 2000 and 2001. So the first participation, Valencia reached immediately the final of the UEFA Champions League and repeated the uh, performance the following season. Against Real and Bayern. Real Madrid and Bayern München. Valencia goes to Group H. Group H uh, for Valencia together with uh, Chelsea and with Ajax. So we can already anticipate another very competitive uh, group here with these three teams. Looks okay. Very experienced in, uh, in Europe. Salzburg. And now we go with FC Salzburg, which have uh, five possibilities, A, B, C, E and the G. So these are the possibilities for FC Salzburg, which is the second participation in the group stage after 1994-95. Salzburg, they've been actually chasing the group phase many times over the past few seasons. Over the playoffs, and, yeah. And finally they made it this year. Group E. Group E for 
FC Salzburg together with uh, Liverpool and uh, Napoli. So we have uh, four teams left uh, in this pot, four, uh, four groups, obviously. The first of these four teams uh, Dinamo. is G and K Dinamo, which can be allocated into groups uh, A, B, or C. These are the three possibilities uh, for Dinamo Zagreb at their seventh participation in the UEFA Champions League group stage. Dinamo, who qualified this week as well through the playoffs. Yes, beating Rosenborg in, uh, in a tight playoff game. Dinamo goes to C. Group C for uh, GNK Dinamo, together with uh, Manchester City and uh, Shakhtar Donetsk. Three teams are left, uh, Wesley. Thank you for telling us. So from Greece, Olympiakos FC can be allocated to Group A or Group B. So it's a simple draw for Olympiakos. Quarter final is in 89. And uh, they are at the 19th participation in Champions League. They are number seven in the European ranking for number of participations. Group B. Group B for Olympiakos together with Bayern and with Tottenham Hotspur. Only two teams are left, uh, and the uh, groups, which are unattended yet by any team of this part, are Group A and Group G. Club Brugge. Group Brugge, Bruges, and for Bruges, we only have one chance, one possibility, Group uh, A for uh, Bruges, together with uh, Paris Saint-Germain and Real Madrid. And only one team is left. We want to see this name coming out of the, uh, the ball. Olympique Lyon. And the name is the name of Olympique Lyonnais. And uh, for Olympique Lyonnais, obviously, we have Group uh, G, where the other teams are Football Club Zenit, St. Petersburg, and uh, Benfica. Time now to conclude the draw. Let's take a look at the clubs in pot four that will be completing the group stages. And they include the first time competitors in this uh, stage of the competition, Atalanta. And we've got a former winner as well. I won't say it in uh, serbo croat I'll say it in English, Red Star. That's a lot easier for me. Galatasaray <laughs> as well, Henk, Leipzig, Lokomotiv Moscow, Lille, and Slavia Prague. Over yes. to you. And only one team per group, and uh, we will know everything about this year's Champions League. <clears throat> the first team is Atalanta. Atalanta, so the beginners of uh, Champions League of Atalanta, they have three possibilities, group uh, A, B or C, the very first participation in the group stage thanks to a fantastic season they had last year, finishing third in the Serie A. Group C. Group C for Atalanta. And this group, uh, so it's the first group to be completed with Manchester City, Shakhtar Donetsk, Dinamo, Zagreb, and uh, Atalanta. Wesley, we can uh, move on uh, to another team. to complete a second group. No? He was just saying, he just it's true. Okay. Leipzig. So this time it's uh, Rosenball Leipzig. So we we can uh, allocate Leipzig to three groups. Uh, or the groups are E or G or H. They, these are the possibilities for uh, Leipzig, which is uh, now at their second participation in the Champions League group stage after the edition of two years ago. And in one second, uh, we will see which is the group of Leipzig. Group G. G. So group G with Leipzig, uh, we have uh, football club Zenit, Benfica, and uh, Olympic Lyonnais. So two groups now complete? Yes. Group C and G. Lokomotiv Moscow. And now we have Lokomotiv Moscow. 
for the locomotive Moscow, the possibilities are group uh, A or group B or group D. For locomotive, he made the round of 16, 15 years ago, 2004. So the group of uh, locomotive is... Uh, group D. Group D which is now completed with Juventus, Atletico de Madrid, Bayer, Leverkusen, and Lokomotiv Moscow. Yes, uh, Wesley, please uh, give us another team of this spot. Slavia Praha. There's a time of Slavia Praha. Slavia can go into the five open groups, uh, A, B, E, F, and H. Slavia coming also from the playoffs. They played yesterday against Cluj. Second time in the group stage for uh, Slavia Prague after 2007 and 2008. Special meaning also for Petr being from Czech Republic as well, drawing out the group. Slavia Praha to the group F. Group F for Slavia Praha. That's quite a challenging group, actually, for this uh, Czech team. Barcelona, Borussia, Dortmund, Inter, and uh, Slavia Praha. Another four teams to go. Yeah. I don't know if his friends back in the Czech Republic are going to be too happy with that, Petr. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off your phone now. Lille. Los Lil, so Los Lil from France. Uh, groups, uh, the groups are B or E or H. For Lil, back to uh, Champions League. They made the round of 16 uh, in uh, 2007. That's their best achievement so far. And uh, let's see how they will try again to qualify for this round of 16. In which group? Which are the opponents? It's a group H. H. H means uh, that they will have to uh, face the likes of uh, Chelsea, Ajax, and uh, Valencia. Not an easy group either, I would say. Third last team. Genk. Genk. So the, G the Belgian champions of Genk have only one possibility, and that's group E. So we allocate Genk to Group E together with Liverpool, Napoli, and FC Salzburg. And we have two teams left in the pot to be drawn. Now you have to help me. <laughs> Zvezda. Servina Zvezda. So the Red Star Belgrade is the first team, or the first of the last two teams. Both groups are possible for Servina Zvezda. And the groups are A and B. We'll see if it's A or B. <laughs> For Red Star. Serena is down to the group B. Group B. So together with Bayern, Tottenham Hotspur, and uh, Olympia Costa. So only one team is left, Wesley. We can imagine which team it is, but uh, <laughs> you have to tell us. My team, no? Uh, most probably, yes. And from the city where we we'll right. go exactly. to play a final. Galatasaray. Yes, it is Galatasaray, and Galatasaray completes the last uh, open group, uh, Group A, together with Paris Saint-Germain, Real Madrid, and uh, Bruges. So there you have it, the lineup for next season's UEFA Champions League group stages has been set. Let's go through the eight groups, starting with A. We'll have Paris Saint-Germain, Real Madrid, Club Bruges and Galatasaray. In B, it's Bayern Munich, Tottenham, Olympiacos, and Red Star. In Group C, debutants Atalanta will be facing Manchester City, Shakhtar Donetsk, and Dinamo. Group D, it's Juventus, Atletico, Bayer Leverkusen, and Lokomotiv Moskva. We've got Liverpool, Napoli, Salzburg, and Henk in Group E. While in F, it's Barcelona, Borussia Dortmund, Internazionale, and Slavia Prague. Group G, Zenit, St. Petersburg, Benfica, Olympic, Lyonnais, and Leipzig. And we end with a really tasty one. Group H, Chelsea, Ajax, Valencia, and Lille. That's right. We're all looking forward to next season's competitions. Our thanks for now to our special guests, 
with us here this evening, Petr Cech and Wesley Snyder, for helping out with the draw, and also, of course, Michael and Giorgio. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.